Tynan Dalpra. Tynan Dalpra. He's gonna take the mats. Two-time world champion. Two-time European champion, three-time Pan champion, Brasilero champion, crown champion, middleweight Grand Prix champion, and just 23 years of age. Absolutely remarkable. Tynan Delpra, 65 and one as a black belt in IBJJF competition. Jiu-Jitsu, Mauricio Oliveira. And he'll take on Mauricio Oliveira who many say is in the best moment of his career, just won the 2024 Europeans in the medium heavyweight division, submitted two of his three opponents. This is a 15 minute match at a catch weight of 187 pounds. A very exciting match that we have never seen before, Jake. Yeah, always exciting to see Tyne and Dahlper on the match, but I feel like this is an incredibly dynamic matchup. Like you said, Mauricio Oliveira has had just incredible success. Recently won Europeans. Tynan Dalpra, of course, I would say, in the middleweight division, is the guy to beat. And has been for a couple of years now, a few, a few years now. 65 and one as a black belt in IBJJF competition. 70% submission rate in those matches. Tynan talked a lot about yesterday how his submissions have really picked up and he's gotten much better at his setups and his finishes and that's a part of his game that he really wants to put on display in his upcoming upcoming competitions. Mauricio trying to dip under to potentially look for a Seonagi but Tynan's base doesn't move an inch. Tynan going for that ankle pick. Mauricio getting a little deep on, on the leg single. there. A Tynan initiating sort of a Russian tie. Oh, Tynan! Mixing it up a little bit, going for it twice! Oh, a third time from Tynan Delpra. Mixing up the timing, keeping Mauricio honest. Tynan recently has been throwing his hat into the Nogi ring as well. Something he had mentioned at the last, or one of the last IBJJF Grand Prix that he was interested in doing, and he's seen success there as well. Advantage awarded to Tynan. Let's take down attempts. Two minutes into this 15 minute black belt super fight. Oh, big look at the single leg for Tynan Dalbra and takes him down to the ground. Deep body lock for Tynan Dalbra. Amazing. That's going to be two points. Move there by Tynan Dalbra. Now looks like he's gonna try to take the back. It's behind Mauricio Oliveira's hips. Oh, Mauricio needs to be careful not to get called for a penalty here. Tynan trying to drag him back in the middle and now successful in doing so, gets him another two points. And this is a tough spot to be if you're Mauricio. Tynan with that grip on the collar with his left hand. Tynan, amazing finishing rate from the back. He's already got one hook. Trying to set that second hook with his left leg. Steps over, gets the hook in. Tynan in an amazing position here. Oh my goodness. Rear naked choke and he gets the submission. Tynan Delpra, submission victory here at the IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix. In a matchup that a lot of people thought Mauricio Oliveira can come in here and give Tynan problems. Tynan puts it to bed. What? That was an especially dominant performance by Tynan Delpra. Saw some skills that we haven't seen as much from him with those, those takedowns, Jake. Transitions to the back, where we know he's extremely dangerous. It improves his IBJJF record to 66 and one. Ups his submission rate over an absolutely world-class competitor in Mauricio Oliveira. And 
Your winner is Tynan Delbra. Tynan Delbra gets the submission victory here in this GP Super Fight. Incredible performance from the AOJ Black Belt, the two-time world champion. Gets his Super Fight GP trophy. Gives it to the AOJ Kids team. And take a look at a replay. Tynan gets the, these are some of his early takedown attempts that he got an advantage for. Then he got Mauricio to the ground with the takedown. Locks this rear naked choke, flattens Mauricio out. Gets the submission victory. Absolutely flawless and beautiful performance from Tynan Dalbra. Jake is gonna catch up with Tynan on the mat and hear about that epic victory. Tynan bringing some of the AOJ kids out onto the mat. himself, Tynan Dalbra, but just an army of AOJ Kids competitors. Tynan, you do this, you've done this uh, in a couple of your matches recently where you bring the kids competitors around you. What does it mean to you to provide the example for these young competitors? Well, it's kind of, it's hard for me to put into words um, what this work means to me, right? I feel like I've dedicated my entire life and everything that I have is through jiu-jitsu, so I try to put all my energy back into the next generation because I know that there's a lot that they're gonna harvest in the future, but I'm sure that I'm leading by example, showing them the hard work that goes behind the scenes, make sure that I show them the respect between your opponent, respecting the game, and then being here and finally harvesting all that hard work that I put in. You're definitely providing an amazing example this matchup was one that a lot of people were very excited to see. They said, you know, Tynan is going to be pushed, but you absolutely looked phenomenal. What was the game plan? What was the preparation like coming into this match? Just staying very uh, active throughout all year long, and you guys saw that I, ma I made my Nogi debut a few months ago, staying active in both. And uh, if I tell you that I'm, that I'm the best, you'll say that I'm bragging. If I tell you that I'm not the best, you tell me that I'm lying. So I let the people judge and I just keep my head down and continue to do my hard work. So where can we see you next? Gi, no gi. If there's a competition, I'm always down for it. But what you see me next is supporting the Federation. IBJF, that's where I built my name, is where I built my credibility. And uh, they're showing all the respect back. And uh, next for me actually is to be Sunday coaching all these kids at the LA Open for IBJF. And uh, yeah, here today, AOJ was able to collect a few golds, a few wins. On Sunday, I'm 100% sure that we're gonna collect multiple gold medals and multiple submissions and dominant wins. Well, you're gracious in victory. Congratulations, Tynan. Ladies and gentlemen, Tynan Dopra. Before we cut to a break, just want to remind you guys that the IBJJF Absolute No Gi Grand Prix is brought to you by King's Kimonos. Go to kings.com, check out their gis, no gi gear, and apparel. We'll be back with our GP final. <laughs> 